If you're interested in loving your life a little bit more by decluttering the junk, keep watching. Hello friends and welcome back to Veggie Magnifique, your go-to for holistic wellness and healthy vegan lifestyle. If you're new around here, I'm Anne, health coach, performer, minimalist in training, and matcha lover. And today I am sharing my top 10 tips for decluttering your life, tips that I absolutely swear by. So just really quick, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, you can, it's free. And you can be a part of the Veggie Many Feet community, which is filled with kind, loving, wonderful people. And so I'm sure you'll fit right in. So let's get into it. Chances are you may have too much junk clogging up your home and life. Many of us do. But gratefully, there are some steps that we can take to declutter the dross that keeps us from feeling and living free. So here are my top 10 tips for decluttering. So number one is find specific places to give things to. It's so much easier to declutter if you think less of like getting rid of stuff and more about giving things to a specific person or place. So you can look into your local women's shelters or different charities that it would bring you joy to give things to. Essentially, you're kind of reframing things, right? So you're rehoming your possessions that you don't use and giving them to someone to use. It's a rehoming thing as opposed to just chucking things out the window. My number two tip is you can buy it again. So we often keep things because we think I may need this one day. All of us do this. And 85% of the time, we don't. I may have just made up that percentage, but give or take. And maybe 15% of the time, we might, maybe. So give yourself permission to buy something again if down the road it becomes necessary. It's not about being consumeristic or non-eco. It's about getting rid of 100% of the unused junk that is congested in your home so that you can breathe better, so that you can live better. And again, if it so happens that in the future you need something again, you can buy it from a secondhand shop or you can buy it from an eco brand if that need arises at that time, right? You cross that bridge when you come to it, but chances are you won't need it. And on that note, if you do need it, tip number three is Borrowing is awesome. Get in the habit of borrowing items that present a need every year or every season. Chances are someone in your family or friend group has a weed whacker or a power drill or whatever it is you need once in a blue moon and chances are they would be thrilled to loan it to you, especially if you greet them at the door with matcha and cookies. My next tip is ask yourself, is it the best, the favorite, or necessary? So this is a decluttering mantra coined by Emily Lay, or of course, you can use the classic Marie Kondo, does this item spark joy? So if you need help figuring this out, right, if it is the best, the favorite, or necessary, and or does it spark joy, go and get an item that you absolutely love, like your favorite sweater, or I don't know, your favorite jeans, and you hold that item in your hands, and you feel it. You feel the love for this item that you use, that is the favorite, that sparks lots of joy. And then what you can do is every other item, if you need to, you can compare it to that favorite item. And that really gives you a good notion of where that other thing compares. Number five is you can get rid of gifts. This alone shall set you free. With gifts, it truly is the thought that counts. The love was in the exchange and not in the item necessarily. And if you don't love the item that was gifted to you, chances are every time you pass that item, your subconscious mind is cringing because you don't love it. You should love it. Why don't you love it? And you feel bad about it. So give yourself permission to pass it on to someone who will love it. And your friend or family member that gave you a gift wouldn't be happy knowing that you were holding on to it out of some sort of surreptitious obligation. Guys, no guilt just giving. Number six is what you keep costs you a lot. The cost of excess is really unquantifiable and extraneous stuff takes up real estate in your home 
and in your mind. Maybe the cost is the stuff that you actually treasure gets lost, you know, shrouded by the junk. Or important mail disappears. Or maybe your house is never tidy and organized because everything doesn't have a home. Or you have piles, to-do piles, to-file piles, etc. Plus, all the things that you keep take up precious space in your home and have to be maintained and cared for. Because if your things aren't cared for, they fall into disrepair or become the dreaded stagnant energy lurking in your home. And if you're not taking care of them or using them, why keep them on your take care of payroll? This, this is a cost. This is a cost of time and mind space. Now, some people even pay to have storage units to store stagnant stuff. And in this case, the cost becomes not only figurative, but also literal. Tip number seven is one in, one out. So this is a classic, right? So if you buy a new sweater, you get rid of an old sweater. You buy a new vacuum, let's hope you get rid of the old vacuum. So this is a relatively simple one, though not necessarily easy, because it does take a certain level of self-discipline. Tip number eight is to put washi tape on items. So what you do is you put washi tape on tools or kitchen appliances or any sort of utensil that you use. Just put a little bit of washi tape on it and then when you use it, remove the washi tape. So definitely set a time in the future, like say in three months, to check on your items and see how many of your items still have washi tape. And if they do still have washi tape, it means you haven't used them in whatever amount of time you've decided on, maybe three months, maybe one month. And when that day comes, seriously consider getting rid of those items. And here, of course, you can think about to whom can I give this a lovely item that I clearly don't use. Tip number nine is to set a timer for 20 minutes and do a decluttering frenzy. Everything's always more fun when it's a game, isn't it? It's the whole gamification of our modern time. So set a timer for 20 minutes, sing just a spoonful of sugar from Mary Poppins, and imagine that there are animatronic birds singing along with you, and try to get as much decluttering done in that time frame as you possibly can, the decluttering frenzy. Chances are you'll have a hard time stopping once you get popping and in that case just keep going and if you continue timing yourself when you're done with the whole escapade you can jot down the time that you spent decluttering and be wicked proud of yourself tip number 10 is to reward yourself after your decluttering my favorite way to reward myself after decluttering and cleaning is always a piping hot rich cup of matcha it totally motivates me to downsize and get things ship shape when i know i have a delicious cup of matcha waiting for me so on that let's talk about today's featured matcha Today's featured matcha is Sunday Naturals Organic Acai Premium. This matcha is the best organic matcha from the Hoshino region of Yame, Japan. So I'm working on trying to get you guys a discount code, but my guy recently left the company, so I will have to keep you posted. But nevertheless, this is a absolute delicious matcha. We lost the pouring of the water footage, but you guys know how to pour water. <laughs> I absolutely love this matcha and its exquisite and delicate flavor is wonderfully enjoyed, whipped into a traditional cup of smooth bliss. Remember, your home is not a storage unit. It's meant to be a haven of respite and relaxation. So whatever that looks like to you, make it a priority and you will definitely reap the benefits. Thank you guys so much for tuning in to this episode of Matcha and Minimalism and my top 10 tips for decluttering. If you guys have some helpful hints, I would love to hear them. So definitely share them in the comments below so that I, along with other viewers, can check out your tips. As you know, it really helps my channel when you engage with my content. So if you like and subscribe, and definitely when you leave comments, it really helps more than you could possibly know. Sending you all lots of love from a sunny New Hampshire fall day, and I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. Bye. Ta
If you guys want to minimalize your life even further, I suggest cutting out going to the grocery store right now and instead ordering on Thrive Market. Thrive Market is super awesome because you can get all these eco-friendly vegan products shipped right to your door. I've been absolutely loving it, especially right now. So if you would like to check out Thrive Market, I have a link down in the description box and you can just click it and it will show you the wonderful world of Thrive Market.